Hey everyone, how's it going? I do not like Amber Heard, but that has nothing to do with today's video. Leave a like if you don't like Amber Heard either. So you already know how it is. I was on Reddit today, dick in one hand, human hair in the other, when I was checking out r slash mildly infuriating. Because for some unexplainable reason, I was having such a great day that it was too great. And I figured maybe if I go on Reddit, I'll see some bullshit that'll make me very angry and make this day a little bit more realistic. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. If you guys are ready to see me have a stroke looking at some of these gosh awful photos and you don't like Amber Heard then drop a like on the video right now but without further ado let's get started. One time I hit a pothole and my coffee jumped out of my cup holder and onto the passenger seat and it was just not a fun time. Now luckily my seats are made out of leather. If they were made out of carpet I probably would have had a stroke right then and there. If I ever went out to buy a donut and this happened I would just go home and sleep and try again tomorrow. Like at that point I'm just giving up on the day. Speaking of potholes this looks like every single pothole in Pennsylvania I swear to god. If you you think that the roads are bad in your state, imagine living on top of a mountain with people who don't know how to do their own damn job. You could fill a pothole with piss and shit and it would do the exact same thing that's happening in this photo. There are potholes the size of lakes in these streets. There's more holes in every single road in Pennsylvania than there are in a block of cheese. So I actually read an article about how these spikes were designed to stop homeless people from camping underneath that bridge and while I understand that homeless people on the sidewalks and under overpasses can be pretty unsettling and and quite possibly annoying to people that are trying to navigate throughout the city. Why put money into designing a system to basically make it more difficult for homeless people struggling to find a place to stay than just putting money into implementing a shelter? Maybe, maybe I'm just an idiot. Maybe I'm just some stupid, dumb, little idiot head with barely any hair or something, but that logic makes way more sense to me. I'm not saying that we should leave the homeless people alone and let them live on the streets, but what I'm saying is that the city that implemented these spikes should get smarter. You know, I was exactly one of these kids that would draw and sketch during class. Like, whenever I was bored in class, I would just pull out my sketchbook and just draw whatever I was thinking of. And the thing that always bugged me was getting fucking pencil on my hand. Because number one, the drawing is smeared. And two, now I have fucking pencil on my hand. I think you need to dump her right now. Like, who in their right mind just cuts off the stuffed crust like that? Unpopular opinion, but crust stuffed or not stuffed is pretty good. Bro, who the hell just ate the middle of your bread? I'm getting Lay's potato chip bag vibes from looking at this photo. Jesus Christ, is that duct tape on the wing? Yeah, enjoy your flight to Saudi. There's no way this photo is real. There's no fucking chance in hell that the waiter or waitress heard you say garlic sauce and just gave you a plate of garlic. No way in hell. I know stupid people exist on this godforsaken planet, but are people really that fucking dumb? Unpopular opinion but I would totally eat that. I'm not a fan of mint chip or chocolate chips or any hard pieces of crap in ice cream. Ice cream is supposed to be soft it's not something you're supposed to bite. I would totally pop that damn balloon. Uh, yeah I know it might sound mean and yes I might make a child cry but unless Morbius is playing in this particular movie theater I'm taking my chances and throwing down with the balloon so that the people behind it can finally see the damn screen. Jesus Christ. Alright here's a story for you guys. So I've had a similar situation happen to me before like I was on vacation years ago it was me and my extended family and we went to a seafood place and the table behind us was full of the most obnoxious pretentious pricks you could possibly imagine you know loud and messy that they made such a mess on their table there was food on the floor and keep in mind this restaurant was a very nice place it's not like a red lobster where there's shit on the walls of the bathroom and there's a secret tank of lobsters underneath the restaurant that are being fed viagra so that the lobsters have vigorous angry lobster sex in order to produce more lobsters to keep up with the demand this was a classy restaurant right on the bay and all of the food is fresh out of the water and these troglodytes made a mess probably worse than that KFC table in this photo it's absolutely abysmal how stupid and rude people are it should just be illegal for stupid people to exist on this planet on second thought I take that back if stupid people just never existed then I probably wouldn't be making YouTube videos and not because I'm stupid but because I yeah it's because I'm stupid <laughs> if your daughter eats prime filet mignon then you need to disown her right now that is sacrilegious like that's almost the equivalent of like a war crime in Saudi Arabia. If you eat steak with ketchup, you don't deserve voting rights. This photo's gotta be fake too. If there are people out there who eat pizza like this and you need some fucking therapy. What makes this even worse is that you ruined a perfectly good chicken pizza. You could have mutilated a damn pineapple pizza, but no. See, I wouldn't care as much if it was pineapple, but there's chicken on this pizza and this person who's eating it like this is just mentally insane. All right, last photo. I remember when this article first came out on TMZ and I was literally going to make a video on 
it, but then I stopped myself because I realized that this isn't really news at all. This is TMZ grasping at straws because they're so fucking desperate for a story. Let me tell you something. I wish I had a story to talk about with all of you every single day because then there would be daily videos. But I am not that desperate to follow a celebrity to a public gas station bathroom. Oh, I got a breaking news story for everybody. This just in. TMZ writers lack personality and don't have any redeeming qualities. All right, everybody. I think I'm fired up enough for today. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon. Follow me on all of my social links. Enjoy my zesty flaming hot Discord server. Links are in the description below. Have a great day, everyone. And remember that I don't really like Amber Heard. Thank you.